Hello world, like TSJ here again. I have an item here that was sent to me by DF Robot. It's an electromyography sensor, which is used to measure the electrical activity of a muscle. What I'm going to do in this video is to utilize this sensor to play a video game. Let's go! DF Robot has a wiki for this. They provided example codes for it. Also, Make sure you configure it correctly. Select the correct frequency depending where you are located. I'm from the Philippines, so I will select 60 Hz. The example codes are for calibration and muscle activity count. The sensor readings should be around or less than 1000. If you're getting something above that, try to move the sensor around. And if it still doesn't work, use a device that is not connected to an electrical outlet like a laptop. You can also power it with a battery. Probably another option too is to get a USB isolator. These things that I just said are actually not found on the wiki. DF Robot should probably mention this at least directly. I actually saw people saying that they cannot have sensor readings below 1000. Maybe they are using a device that is connected to an electrical outlet like a desktop or a laptop that is charging. Anyway, as to using the sensor as a game controller button, I have a Tinsy LC. It's currently out of stock which is kinda sad. This can actually be a USB game controller. But just a heads up, the current vanilla example code for it to be a USB game controller is actually to be a direct input device. But we probably want it to be an X input device. Thankfully, there's someone who made support for the Tinsy to be an X input device. We just have to install it alongside the accompanying library. The project is kinda limited if we only have the EMG sensor as the input. So I have here a circuit which has many buttons that we can use as start, select, and buttons like that. This too is kinda limited though, so I actually added a place for a Wii nunchuck. I forgot to mention that the LED here is for debugging stuff besides the built-in LED of the TNC. With these inputs, we can relatively play a more complicated game compared to a just one input game. Like Super Tux compared to Flappy Bird. Super Tux is a platformer, kinda like that Italian plumber game. I know, I know, I'm using Windows here to play Super Tux. I'm sorry to the Penguin fans out there. With those out of the way, let's actually play Super Tux. If you want to learn more about the sensor and the project, I will put some links on the video description. I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.